What are all the different print on demand tools that are available to you? I wanted to create a list, more like a hierarchy of what I think are the most important tools that you should use. If you are new here, my name is Shimmy Morris. I create videos on print on demand, Amazon FBA, merch, you know, affiliate marketing, business online, all that kind of stuff. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And you know, let's try and get this video to, let's say a thousand likes. Is that even physically possible for my channel? Who knows? Only you guys can answer that question. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So let's start by listing out all the tools I'm going to discuss in this video. And I'm gonna break it down into price, the, where they rank on the list, their use, and my personal opinion on that specific tool. And then right at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a hierarchy of what's most important to what I feel is least important for someone like you, not someone like me, because obviously everyone has different, you know, opinions of what they find important. So I think this list is more of a general list of what is important for the general audience. So the, the tools that we're going to be covering today are Placeit, Canva, uh, Photoshop, Fiverr, that's not really a tool, but still, Redbubble Tags, Creator Studio, Merch Informer, Google Trends, and Google Keyword Planner. So this is quite a lot of tools, but don't worry, some of them are free, and I know Fiverr's not really a tool, but it's a great platform that could be used as quite a useful tool. So let's start with Placeit. This is a brilliant tool. It's got a huge, huge library of mock-ups, it's got a huge library of actual designs which you can use, they're, they're, they're copyright free. I would suggest, you know, tweaking them just a tiny bit to make them yours and make sure that no one else has the same one. But in terms of the tool, this tool is brilliant for if you've got a design as well, you can place it on a t-shirt, literally it's called place it. You can put it on a t-shirt and you can have it on a model or on an iPhone or whatever you want, you, whatever you want it. That is what this tool is made for. In terms of pricing, it costs $14.95 a month or $89.69 a year. However, however, if you use my link below, and this isn't like a shout out to my link, even though it kind of is, you don't have to use it, no pressure. But if you use my link below, it actually ends up costing $12.70 per month or $76.23 per year. Now this is because there's a 15% discount with my link. But seriously, no pressure. This is not a video to try and get sales for, you know, all these different tools with my affiliate link. I just wanted to give you a hierarchy of all the different tools that I think you could potentially be using. Now, my personal opinion, I think this tool is absolutely incredible. For me personally, it's not the top of my list, but in the general thing of tools, it's very, very high up just because of the huge, huge library of mockups and the pretty big library of designs. I think it's a very, very cool tool. And the fact that it's this cheap, right? It's the cost of, you know, three cups of coffee a month. And I can guarantee you probably spend more than that on coffee a month. It's just really, really, really cheap. And I use it probably, you know, every week or every two weeks. And I just think it's a brilliant tool. The next tool is Canva. So what is Canva? Canva is basically a website where you can create images, presentation, designs. It's got probably one of the biggest libraries of clip arts and um, graphics and all those kind of things. And I personally use Canva a lot for creating presentations, creating all my Instagram pro posts, and for getting ideas for other things, just because they do have a vast, vast library of ready-made t-shirt designs as well. So I think Canva is a brilliant design just for, a, a brilliant tool just for, you know, everything design related, everything graphical related, that kind of thing. Now, how much does it cost? Well, it costs £8.99 a month, and unfortunately there's no discount. And that is if you pay yearly, it's £10.99 if you pay um, monthly. Um, this does have a free option as well where you can access quite a lot of, you know, graphics and all these kind of things. However, if you want to access all the fonts, you want to access the higher quality downloads, you want to access everything, then it's one of those two prices. I don't have a discount. I do have a link below, but unfortunately there is no discount. They would not give me one. But this is a very, very good tool. And my personal opinion on this tool is that it's just brilliant. I use it multiple times a week, a lot more than place it for that matter. But I use it more for, you know, creating little designs here and there for my website, for Instagram, for YouTube, whatever they may be. Canva is my go-to place to create a, just a quick design, right? It's so much easier than using Photoshop. 
I can just make everything up, everything's there already. I can upload an image if I want to and I can download it in the space of about three minutes. So I definitely highly recommend this tool and like I said, I use it literally on a weekly basis. Personally, I have the pro account, I pay for it just because it the, the library of, of images and everything is so huge and I use them all, I use all different fonts. So I feel it's worth it for me to actually have the paid account. The next tool is Photoshop. Now Photoshop is, this is a pro level tool and it's extremely powerful and it's a lot for, it's very good for photo manipulation, that kind of thing. You know, it's good for creating designs as well, but it's very, very pro level and it's very difficult to use. So it's the type of tool that you kind of need to learn how to use rather than just, you know, I'm gonna download Photoshop and start using it. You need to actually learn how to use it and through YouTube tutorials or maybe even a course or just using it but it's a pro, pro level tool. It costs £19.97 a month, but they do have a package which is £9.98 where you get Photoshop and Lightroom. So I think that's a pretty good deal, £10 a month to access Photoshop. Again, only use it if you know how to use it and you're actually gonna use it. I use Photoshop every single day. So my personal opinion is it's only worth it if you know how to use it. If you know how to use it, you can create the most stunning, breathtaking designs. And I learned how to use it through experience. I started using it when I was about 12, 13. And I just, I didn't take any courses or any YouTube videos. I just used it and over, you know, the period of 13 years, or 12 years, I got really, really good at it. And that's what I recommend, you know, if you wanna use it, just practice and practice and get good at it. Right, the next tool is Fiverr.com. Now I know this isn't really a tool. Fiverr.com is a website where you could pay people to do a service for you. Let's say you want to pay someone to create a design for you. You wanna pay someone to, you know, do the marketing for you. You wanna pay someone to make a song for you. Pay someone to write an article for you. Fiverr basically has everything and the reason I put it in this video is because you can use Fiverr specifically for print on demand in a, just it, you can have people make t-shirts for you. It's just brilliant. It's a really, really brilliant tool. Now Fiverr, I can't really tell you how much it costs because it totally depends on what gig you go for. That's what they call the individual things are called gigs. So it depends which gig you go for. It depends on how much you want to spend. Um, there are people who will sell something for $5, $50, $500, $5,000. So it really depends which one you go for. I use Fiverr mainly if I want to just save some time. So if there's anything I know that is an easy task that can be done, I will look on Fiverr, see if someone can do it for me and I'll get it done. My jingle for Are Your Designs Any Good, that, that those episodes, I made that, I got that done on Fiverr. It's just so easy. If I want, you know, anything made, something graphical design, I just don't have time. Like in the day, I'll just pay someone five or 10 pounds, five or $10 to get it done for me. So I probably don't use Fiverr that regularly because I like to make things myself, but I do think it's a brilliant tool if you've got the money and you wanna just save a bit of time and focus on something else. The next tool is the Redbubble Tags tool. And this kind of only really works for Redbubble, but basically it shows you all the tags, their popularity, what their changes over time, uh, all these kind of like cool little bits of information that you could use to, for, for research, you know, to see what tags to use, what t-shirt designs to go into, what niches are starting to become very, very popular. So that's what this tool is good for. Now this tool is totally and utterly free. So that is brilliant. And do I recommend it? Well, personally, I think it's a great tool. And I think if you're using Redbubble, which you should be, then you should be 100% using this tool. There's no reason not to. It's completely free and it's really, really powerful. The next tool is Creator Studio. Now, this is for Instagram and Facebook. This tool basically is your dashboard for Instagram, Facebook, and it's how you can schedule posts. It's how you can see your analytics. It's how you can make posts, all these kind of things, right? It just allows you to pretty much run your entire Instagram game and your Facebook page game. So I use Creator Studio, by the way, just price wise, it's completely and utterly free as well. So this is another huge, huge tool. I use it every single day basically, because I post on Instagram every single day. I schedule all my posts with Creator Studio. I look at my analytics with Creator Studio. And I just think because it's free and you need Instagram for pretty much any business you're doing, if it's print on demand, affiliate marketing, whatever it is, you need to have that presence. Creator Studio just makes your life a lot easier. For me, for example, I don't need to look at Instagram for a couple of weeks because I've got my posts scheduled. The only reason I use Instagram now is for stories, for responding to people, for commenting, for talking to people, for messages. But my posts I've scheduled all in Creator Studio already. So I think that is just a brilliant, brilliant tool. 
The next tool is Merch Informer. Now this tool is more for Amazon Merch, but it's a brilliant tool. It helps you track products, it helps you track keywords, it helps you see sales, it helps you see what's trending. It's just the everything tool that you need if you are a big seller on Merch by Amazon. It gives you everything you need for Merch by Amazon. Now this tool unfortunately is not free. In fact, it's quite expensive. This tool actually costs $59.90 every single month. Now there is also probably a link in the description. I don't know where you get some form of discount, but I don't actually remember. Regardless, I don't actually recommend this tool because it is so, so expensive. I would only say get this tool if you are a big time seller or you're making substantial amount of money from Merch for Amazon. If you're making more than $59.90 on Amazon, then go for the tool. But if you are not making that, uh, then it's probably not worth it. Right, the next tool is the Google Trends tool. Now this is a cool tool. This tool shows you what's trending on Google for this current time. So you can see what was previously trending and you can see what's trending now. And this is cool because you're able to create designs and ads and whatever it may be based on what is trending, providing obviously they're not breaking any copyright rules. So that's very, very cool. And this is a completely free tool as well. And in terms of personally what I think, I've not just used this for shirts, but I've used this for YouTube videos. I've used this for ads. I've used this just in general to see what the current trend is. So I think it's a great, great tool and the fact that it's free just makes it so much better. So that's the Google Trends tool. And the final tool is the Google Keyword Planner tool. This is an amazing tool. This is basically a tool where you're able to put a keyword in and you're able to see how many searches it gets on Google. Like for example, if you want to sell a t-shirt, uh, a Harvard t-shirt, I don't know, you can see how many people search for the word Harvard t-shirt and you can decide, you know what, there's not that much traffic around this niche, I'm gonna leave it, or there's a good amount of traffic. You can also see long tail keywords, short tail keywords, it's just brilliant. It's also entirely free, so there's no reason not to use it. Now, my personal opinion on this is I use this not just for print on demand, but I use this for all my businesses. I use it big time for Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is just massive with this because I can, find a product, I can see how popular that product is based on how many searches it's getting on Google and based on all the similar keywords because Google also spits out all the similar keywords that you know relate to the product. So I can get a whole list of keywords and see how popular this product is as a whole. So I use this tool nearly on the daily. It's just a really, really good tool. Now I wanna rank all these tools for what I feel is the most important for a print on demand seller and a general print on demand seller, not me personally. So the first tool is Place It, I think that's number one. Number two is the Redbubble Tags tool. Number three is the Google Keyword tool. Number four is Fiverr. Number five is Creator Studio. Number six is Canva. Number seven is Photoshop. Number eight is Merch Informer. And number nine is Google Trends. Now this is my personal opinion of what I think is an accurate rank for you know, just the general public for print on demand business. If it was me, Photoshop would be nearer the top, maybe number two after place it, or maybe even number one because I just, I use it every single day. But again, not everyone can use Photoshop, so I didn't want to place it so high. I hope you liked this video. That is pretty much all the tools that I could think of. I'm sure there are more tools. So let me know in the comments down below if there are other tools that you use that you think are pretty cool. Uh, no links or anything, no spammy stuff, but just, you know, give me the name of the tool and I'll look into it because I love trying out and seeing and finding new tools. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.